Today we're going to look at an issue where if you go to one website and it loads perfectly fine, go to another and it doesn't load at all. In fact, it gives you an error. Something similar to, hmm, we're having trouble finding that site. Uh, this could be related to DNS issues. Uh, the couple things you would like to check before we do uh, a couple different solves here, uh, just make sure you can go to that website on another device. For instance, uh, if I'm trying to go to YouTube on my computer, it doesn't load, but I can go to other websites on my computer. I'm going to check my phone or another computer in the house to make sure YouTube isn't just down. Um, so if all that checks out, uh, I'm sure you've already Googled it. Uh, some people recommend clearing your internet, cookies, cache, whatever. Uh, that's great. Go ahead and do that. Uh, they may also recommend that you uh, run this uh, command prompt command, uh, ipconfig space forward slash flush DNS. Uh, once again, that's a good thing to try as well. If that still does not resolve your issue, it's time to look at uh, maybe bypassing the DNS server that uh, your internet provider is making you use. So when you uh, have a connection uh, with, uh, let's say, AT&T or Spectrum or any of those uh, big internet providers, or even the small ones, they have their own DNS servers. And if they're having issues with their DNS servers, um, it's a good idea to bypass it. So there's uh, two ways to get to this place. You can either right click uh, your internet access icon on the bottom right, and go to the Open Network and Sharing Center button, uh, or you can just go to the Start menu. This works on Windows 7 or Windows 10. Uh, maybe Windows 8, I've never used it. All right, uh, when, uh, let's type in Network and Sharing, and Network and Sharing Center right here. Let's go ahead and open that. On the top left, we'll click on Change Adapter Settings. Uh, ignore the virtual adapters right here. We're going to look at my local area connection 3, which is my Ethernet connection. Uh, you may be using Wi-Fi uh, or Ethernet. The same rules apply. You're going to right-click this and go to Properties. Oh, by the way, yours might be local area connection 2 or 1 or whatever. Just make sure it's the one you're actually using. Uh, Internet Protocol version 4. Make sure that box is checked. Uh, if it's not checked, go ahead and check it and try it again because that should always be checked. Uh, you can either click Properties or double-click it. Now, what you should be looking at is something like this, where your IP address is set to automatic um, and your DNS server is set to automatic. I'm going to ignore the IP address thing. I'm going to assume that's all taken care of for you, whether it's dynamic or static. You've got that figured out. We're going to listen or look at uh, bypassing the automatic DNS server uh, assignment. And we're going to manually put in Google. 8.8.8.8 .8 and Google's alternate DNS which is 4.4 so they have a primary and an alternate DNS or preferred and alternate um, and then push OK and then OK again now let's try to access YouTube ta-da it works uh, if this doesn't work for you you've got something else going on if this did work for you well, there's a solid chance that your ISP, your internet service provider, uh, has some DNS issues right now. They're uh, almost always temporary. Uh, I would notify them and let them know. Um, or you can just you know, wait a few minutes because it'll probably uh, get itself sorted out in no time. Um, one thing that you may encounter is if you try to go to other websites, uh, let's try to go to Google using Google, Google's DNS to resolve itself. Uh, it's going to find some weird stuff. Um, if we go to like Facebook, see if that works. Yeah, that works. Um, let's go to finance.yahoo.com, see if that works. Yeah, so it seems like maybe just the, the root Google addresses may, may have some issues there. Uh, so let's hope you don't have to go to any of those. Uh, okay, uh, if you like the video, if it worked out for you, uh, give it likes or whatever the hell and uh, comment if you uh, have anything to add to the conversation. Thanks.